to have lived a life of slavery and bondage, many Israelites knew no other life. Generation after generation, that's all they knew. 400 years of silence from God, and they kept going, faithful, trusting. And despite their oppression, they multiplied in number. And this greatly intimidated Pharaoh. And when they thought it could get no worse, the order came from Pharaoh for all the baby boys to be slain. And then Jochebed appeared. We have nothing from the Bible that says an angel appeared to her or she had some dream telling her what to do. This was all a faithful mother wanting to save her baby. And she just gave him to God in those reeds and said, God, take him, basically abandoning him so she would not see him killed, but knowing that God could take him. This story speaks to me when I think about my own daughter and handing my own daughter over to surgeons, not knowing what was coming down the line when I was pregnant with Mia, trusting that God's way no matter what it is, was the only way for our family to make it. Not seeing the future, but just knowing that God loved us more than anything else and that he had my daughter in his hands for wonderful and greater things, bigger dreams than I could ever dream myself, is what God has for her. And because of Jacobed's constant prayer, her daughter runs back to her and says, the princess found him and wants you to raise him. Really? You mean, you talk about more than you could ever ask or imagine. Jacobed never thought in her wildest dreams that would happen. Not only did she give him to God, God gave him right back to her. When we completely trust and fully give our children over to God, we are saying, we trust you, God, 100%. It is your plan, not ours. What we've learned through our own trials is that it's not about us, and that was hard at first. But now looking back, I can see how God has worked his plan through my life, through my family's life, and especially through Mia's life. I know I'm a girl but I can relate to Moses because God called Moses to go face his Pharaoh. Moses says, no, I can't talk well. But God said, who made the human mouth? Isn't it I, God? I'll be with you. And God told Moses to go to Pharaoh and say, let my people go. God used Moses' weakness to show his strength. I was born with a cleft lip and palate, but just like Moses, God has called me to share his word. You will be called to face your Pharaoh. But remember, God is always with you. And what an amazing adventure it is to be able to see that with my own eyes and to know 100% that God never left us. He was there the entire time, even when I was begging for answers and didn't get them. He was always there. <laughs>